Yo, what is good, my anime pay for what is good, you know, holy crap, alright, people were saying, reincarnated as a slime, it's a slow show, it's very, very boring, missing that, now all of a sudden, Things are turning up. We have every character about to be in single fights or double fights. And the problem with this all of a sudden is our, our people inside of this town are being super dumb, dumbed down seemingly. Either they're being dumbed down by the actual barrier that just went up or they're being dumbed down uh, by an ability. And, uh, sorry. One of the members is being dumbed down by an ability of the outsider people by whatever he can do, or if that isn't the case, then it's literally just the barrier. Because with one of our strongest members <coughs> excuse me, saying she's straight up out of strength or that her strength is leaving her body, and her strength is one of the most, you know, craziest things she's got going for her. Ah, uh, that's a lot of strength to be leaving a body, right? That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of uh, death to be escaping her. So to know that that is part of what's going on here, it really does make me interested in how they're going to go about giving us more information uh, about every character, right? Like Rimuru, um, the demons, like the humans all the way over on the other side who sent the people over here and that are just like waiting for the news like there's so many moving forces in this week's episode that it really brings out the the awesomeness of just the show in general just the world just how things have been playing out every single time we've been watching this show and learning more and more that you know there's really not all good people out there and most of the people are actually worse than the monsters so it's a very very touching interesting story when it comes down to who is you know good and who's evil and what does good and evil actually mean and greediness seems like the most killing uh <laughs> the most killing and evil thing of this show right like this is the thing that gets everybody absolutely destroyed is just being greedy or feeling way too confident about yourself but to think that this demon who isn't the one who even declared war we know which one declared war but to think that two demons might be making their moves is a weird uh weird coincidence that then the humans uh, are also making their move right like everybody and their mom are making their final push and it's coming down to a point where even if you do uh, even if you were capable of reacting to every single thing that's popping off it really would have still been something out there happening i feel like right like that's just how many different steps are being taken to get to our main characters we have a whole entire kingdom coming we have a demon who already sent in a traitor or just sending his own puppet into the middle of town and she got in scot-free and then we go all the way back to uh rimuru not being in the town so he can't even help we don't know why the strength is leaving the body of our characters, if it's the barriers. So there's just a lot to digest. And I think uh, seeing that one of the skills of these outside people is to literally change the brain brain waves of people. And that it's such a scary technique and forbidden that once it's even tried to use, someone already has a counter for it being... Uh, my wife who out of everybody but she counters it but at the same time if this barrier is doing what I'm thinking it's doing she might not be able to protect such a wide range area of people if 
this barrier takes her strength away, right? Or it takes the ability away for her to use all of the power that she has at her disposal. So that's mainly what I'm interested in. I honestly think this show is by far a top 10 contender for me. Depending on how it actually plays out and it ends overall, it could be a top 5. But as of right now, Reincarnated as a Slime is definitely up there. And I want to hear what you're thinking about it. What do you like? What do you hate? Have you been enjoying this season? Are you one of the people that thought this season was boring because of all the political and small stuff they were getting into to really set up a story and to really set up other you know nations and different moves that are being placed on us or are you just one of the people that are like me and we're just along for the ride and whatever happens happens and we're probably going to enjoy it at the end of the day so with all that being said i hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be and i'll talk to you in the next one peace